Welcome to 1407 Gray Monkey Lane. This is the living memory of the X-Men. Don't let anyone tell you different. X-Men 20, written by Gary Dugan with, I'm trying to, I never get the artist in the right. Uh, Steph, Stefano Caselli. Amazing. They do such a good, I, I really like what they're doing. Uh, so this is the X-Men's uh take on uh the, what's going on with the brood the brood have are attacking and they're attacking everybody so we get okay but before that before that we get forge <laughs> forge he's with m prodigy and sage and uh he's like hey this is a this is a crazy thing. I da, 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 all the side stuff, and Prodigy and Sage like he doesn't even listen to us. He's the smartest idiot in the universe. Uh, so he and him go go through this timey wimey thing, and like they're just yeah. But back on the A story, we get the X Men who are responding to the. The stress call from Corsair last issue. And as we see, the team is new. The team has changed ever since uh, Dark Web. So uh, as you can see, it's Firestar, Iceman, Phoenix, Cyclops, Sink, um, Wolverine, or as we're calling her now, Talon, with magic, along with Forge, respectfully. He's just not there. So uh, they're going through, they're doing their own thing. And I think this is really cool. Like this whole exchange between Iceman and Firestar, Iceman's not so afraid anymore. He's like, ever since Araco, I've shed a lot of my old fears. I ain't scared of nothing, but I'm always gonna be afraid. I'm always gonna fear and hate the brood because there's no stopping them, and I understand that. Uh, and um, Firestar, she's going like it's nice to be able to uh, cut loose, and she's and she kind of she kind of implies she's never been able to do that with the X Men. Oh, no, wait, oh, and do it with the Avengers. I'm sorry. So this little exchange is really nice. I, I want to see more of this. I really, I would really, like, you know, because they've known each other for a while. Uh, inside, Jean, uh, Phoenix and Magic are trying to figure out what happened. Uh, what happened to Brew? Because the Brood attacking should not be going on because Brew is an ally of Krakoa. So, and no way seen Brew. <sighs> so, Jean, she hooks, she connects with Emma, Quanin, uh, and the Cuckoos. It, it, it would be, no, wait. Rachel and, uh, Betsy are still in other worlds, so they're out of contact. I wish they were well, like lesser known telepaths. Like, I would like to see um, uh, Havoc's friend ever, the telepath who was part of G Nation back in the day. I like this, would be a really cool way for him to come back. I think Fix would be really cool back from X Factor. She had her power was so interesting. Like, uh, she had this little um, thing right here that allowed her to for use her telepath tele telepathy, but making them look like fairies, and that is why I think that she is Pixie's daughter, because their powers are very similar and old and old uh, to her uh, mother. <sighs> we get. Talon, Cyclops, and Sink, they find Corsair, and he looks like he's about to pop. And <laughs> Cyclops, he's low-key freaking out, like, my dad, he's got, like, 
oh my god, my dad's gonna die. But when uh Talon and Sync, they're playing doctor and they're doing it, they're performing an operation while all the Cyclops is watching their backs. It's kind of cool. Uh you know, they eventually they make it out. It's fine, everything's good. Um I just realized I'm saying I'm a lot. We get back to Forge and um, M. They they come out that portal and they see themselves dead, like they were shocked. And then uh, M points out, like, what's that? And that's where we end. <sighs> it is crazy. I'm giving this book a 4.25 out of 5 stars. I really like it. I really like it. I like, I like when there's these interplanetary... Yeah, it's so cool. Like, I, and we haven't seen the Brood in a while. I mean, last time we saw them was back before Brood took over, but like... Ever since finding out that new information about them, that they, the Brood were... They were created... They, they weren't they didn't were involved they were created in a lab total aliens <sighs> what do you think like comment share subscribe um what do you think about this new team roster it kind of flows better like not as much a uh, tension between cyclops and havoc but i also want to get inside uh laura's head a little bit so this is 1407 Gray Market Lane. I'm signing out.